so in this video we'll be talking about um, python loops so if you heard about if statement loops for loops while loops we'll be covering those in this section hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Fermis AK and on this channel we help professionals navigate through data sciences machine learning artificial intelligence or any other technological advancement that might come up in the future if you're new here you're so welcome if this is your first time clicking on any of my videos you're welcome to the community in this community we talk about data sciences machine learning so if you're interested in data sciences python machine learning then this channel is for you click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you're updated whenever i post a new video to my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support thank you for always coming back do well to share this content with any of your friends your colleagues your family members that are interested in data sciences and i am sure that they're definitely going to learn a lot from this channel in my last video i told you that my birthday is coming up in march so i'm not celebrating any celebration but i want to do a sit down video to answer any of your questions so if you have questions related to this channel directly or indirectly or you want to know personally about me about different things about me just put those questions in the comment section between now and february so that i could sit down and answer those your questions yeah thank you in this video we'll be talking about um, python loops so if you heard about if statement loops for loops while loops we'll be covering those in the section and yeah just sit open your laptop the best way to learn is to go through and follow through so just open your laptop and just code as i code so you, you know you, by now you should know how to launch a jupyter notebook i've covered it in multiple videos if you don't know about that so you could go to my last video i walked you through on how to open your jupyter notebook so in in this we're just creating a new notebook called um, so just go to new when you go to your top right in your so if you go to navigate to where i am right now so if you if you don't know how to get to where i am right now go watch my last video you understand how i got here so just click on new python 3 and it opens up a new python 3 notebook for you so you know how to navigate through so you double click to rename just double click on the untitled and for now just call this for loops so before we talk about if statements and loops it's necessary to cover python conditionals so what those different conditions are in python so we have the equals to equals we're using the double equals to sign on your keyboard then we have the not equals to we are using the exclamation and the equals to sign so when you see the exclamation sign combined with the equals to it shows that this is not equals to this or it could be a, a, a condition that is being given then we have the less than we have the greater than could have less than or equals to or greater than or equals to yeah i hope that makes sense so let's start with this and type x equals to 300 and let our y be 100 so let's try if state for if statements you when you write if statements you do if you put a condition then you use your column and you go to the next line and you type what you want to do so remember always include your indentation indentation is key in programming any programming language particularly python so indentation gives that okay this is on that this just gives different levels of hierarchy so condition if condition so do anything because if you start on the same line when you start your if it's starting a new condition not under the previous condition that has been given i hope that makes sense so indentation so if you put your condition then you put your column then indentation go to the next line indentation then do something so if this condition is met do this if that condition is not met nothing will be done we could start with our first condition so first condition if x is greater than y print x is greater than y so that's all that's what you so if so you notice that our x is 300 y is 100 so definitely x is greater than y so if the x is less than y print x is less than y you notice that our x is not less than y so nothing is returned hope that makes sense then let's include if l if and l else statement so you have your if so with what the if does the if l if and else statement does is 
if this is met if this condition is met do this l if so if, if, if this condition is not met try the second condition so l if so like okay if this is not met try the second condition and if that condition is not met oh so like finally if this is done if this condition is met do this if this condition is met do this if or at the end of the day just do this if nothing of this none of this is met just do this so it goes through them one by one when it meets a condition it does it if it does not just print or else so that's why we have if l if and else you could have multiple l ifs in your statement you could have one if definitely that would be one if then if you have multiple conditions just use l if and you can continue using l if then finally you could use else so you have to end with else so you don't have to include el- else but else kind of ends that um, if statement I hope that makes sense so you could say okay if x is less than y print x is less than y if x is greater than y print x is greater than y else print x might be equals to y so if you look at what it does it prints x is greater than y because that was the condition that met so when that condition a condition is met it just breaks that loop that if statement here so if we write another if so if x is greater than 300 print x is greater than 300 if x is less than 300 print x is less than 300 and else just print x is equals to 300 so what that means is it looks true if it's x greater than 300 x is not greater than 300 so you print it goes to the next one if x less than 300 x is not less than 300 so it goes to okay finally this is this has to be and then we return this you get so that is like if any one of this condition is met do this finally so that's what it does okay x is not greater than 300 x is not less than 300 so you just print the last else x is greater is equals to 300 yeah i hope you follow through then the next one is let's try using the not equals to so you could print x is not equals to 50 if x is not equals to 50 yeah if x is not equals to 50 print x is not equals to 50 if x is less than or equals to 350 print your yeah, printer so okay you notice it prints y not equals to 50 because it just goes through the first item and says that okay my y is not less than 50 it's not equals to 50 so my y is 100 so that first condition is met and just prints that and breaks everything so let's try another one if x is equals to 500 is equals to 50 do this l if if x is not if y is now less than or equals to 350 print that so when you look when you run that block of code it it ends at the second item the the first l if that's the second um, condition because that's the condition that was met also you could also combine different conditions you could do or and and so with all is if either this condition is met or this condition is met do do it do something but we and both conditions must be met so i say if this is this or this is this shall do this thing so it's if only one is true so one has to be true for it to do whatever you want it to do but with an statement both of them must be true for it to return something i hope that makes sense so if i say if x equals to y or x greater than y then give create a variable called z which will be x z equals to x times y so at the end of the print z for me so when it looks true say oh x is equals to x is not equals to uh, y so that condition is not met but it goes through the second condition x is not greater than y so that condition is met so i can go to the next line and create z yeah so that's for your or but for and like i said both of them has to be correct to be met for it to do anything so i say if x equals to y and x is less than 200 create a new variable called z equals to x over y if this condition is not met else as that at the end of the day print no condition is met so if it goes through the first one if that condition is not met go through the second one so that's you just print no condition met